Hi everyone, it's Doreen with Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. I'm here today to share with you my craft with me and we are going to put together this right here. I showed this in my previous video where I put together some pink little cookies, little lace cookies that we put together yesterday. If you didn't see that video, I will link it below because this will be a series. So this is the little flower that we put together. And now I'm gonna come back and share with you how we're going to put this together. So you're going to need some craft bags like this. Any size bag will do, but for this one, I'm using an eight and a half by 11. You'll need some craft paper. If you wanna use book pages, you can use book pages also, but I'm using this 110 pound craft premium cardstock from Coordinations. I picked this up at Tuesday morning. It's a heavyweight cardstock. So you kind of want something a little substantial to hold your pieces together, okay? And then you're gonna need some book pages. And I have the book pages here. These are music note pages. This is the book. And we're gonna be picking out some of these to put together in our little um, purse that we're working on. So I'm just, you're gonna only need, um, let's see. We need about two of these, I think. So we're gonna go with two. I think that's all we need. So you're just gonna need these bags and you're gonna need the book pages, some lace and some cheesecloth, uh, trims of your choice. Yeah, so if you wanna craft along with me, uh, we are gonna go ahead and get started, okay? Okay, so let me put this aside for now. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to build, this is our base right here. We don't need our base right now because we need to put our pages together. So we're gonna go ahead and put our pages together. And I'm going to, hopefully you can see here what I'm doing. I moved the camera up a little bit, so hopefully um, you can see it. Um, the glue that I'm gonna be using is the tacky glue. Okay, so we have our bags here, and we're gonna start with one of them. And this bag here measures to this. You see, there's not much difference there in the bags. They're, they're, so you wanna use a bag that's smaller than this, okay? Because you want it to fit inside of here, all right? So we're just gonna go ahead, let me put something down here so I don't get my wood messed up so we don't get that messed up when we glue. Okay, so you're just gonna fold your bag. This is so simple. I believe Robin Dudley Howes did a tutorial on making a really pretty purse. Oh my gosh, I loved it so much. I had to play around with it. When I made the matchbook, it was really fun too. So I used the matchbook concept for this and I wanted to kind of, you know, put it together like the matchbook. So that's where I got that idea from. But you know, we all get our ideas on YouTube. So there's a lot of people out there that teach us wonderful tutorials. So definitely not claiming this as my own, you guys. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's fold this in half. Make it easier on all of us here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I do like my music notes to line up when I'm putting things on. I do like it to look a little lined up there. So I hope you all are doing well and surviving after the new year. Let's see how much I want to cut off here. Do need to get our ink out. I need to cut off a little bit more than that. You 
guys, I have to tell you something funny. I told her I was going to say it on video, too. Jennifer said she wanted all my scraps, like all my little bits of anything that I've cut off lately on anything. She wants me to send her my scraps. So I told her that I am making a bag for her right now full of scraps. And when I say I'm making her a bag full of scraps, she ain't going to believe it when I, when I send her this bag. Look, look at this bag so far full of scraps <laughs> because I cannot handle having all these things in my craft space you guys it just drives me nuts I can't do it so I started a little scrap bag for Jennifer a trace of sparkle here on YouTube and I'm going to challenge her to make some items with those scraps so hey girl <laughs> I told you I was going to tell them <laughs> she's going to be laughing when she watches this video Anyway, so we're going to ink it up a little bit. I've been making quite a lot of scraps lately, too, because I've been working on this kit here, the Posh Pink Kit. And I'm having so much fun, you guys, just playing around with the, um, the different things. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue that part down. And now I kind of take my time on this, you guys, because this is going out to people. And I bet you my glue is going to be acting funny today. Okay. So how about I'll use this other glue? You want to put enough glue that it's going to hold the paper, of course. And this is glassine paper, so you want to use some type of glue. You can't use um, a fabric tack on this because it'll come, oops, it'll come right off. And you will be so mad you put all that time and effort into it. So we're just going to do this. And take your bone folder and just kind of squish all the glue down in there. You can see it's coming out a little bit. I think I need to get my, my wipes out. These smell like coconut. They're so yummy, you guys. So just wipe it down, get the glue off. Wait for it to dry. We're going to cover this up in a little bit here. We're just doing the construction right now, making sure everything is down. So I was mentioning that you can't use fabric tack and you cannot use this type of glue on glassine and paper. Now, for some reason it doesn't hold. So that's a bummer, right? So anyway. Okay, so now you have your bag here, right? And you have your next bag here where your fold is. Let's go ahead and cut this too. Just gonna cut it on the edge just a teeny bit here. Open it up. I'm sure there's a better tutorial or craft with me out there <laughs> than what I'm doing here right now because I'm doing everything late at night here, but you want this to open up on both sides, okay? So, it looks something like that. You know what? My edges didn't come out that inked up. I want to make sure that they're a little bit more inked up around the edges here. I should have gone a little heavier. There we go. It's a little better. Like I said, we're going to cover this up anyways, but um, yeah. So there we go. So we have this, right? And we have this. And we have the back. And this is going to open up. So before you glue this together, you want to add another piece of paper to this side facing down. So this one here would go here. Okay? 
so that when you look through your bag, you can see the music notes. The first one I did, I didn't do all this, and I liked it better this way just because it was more stable. So what I like to do on here is I like to cut the, the sides off, and I just measure it out a little bit here. Making sure we're gonna put it down the right way too. So I'm gonna take off about that much. And it's okay, you don't have to have this exactly right because you just want it to be peeking in. You just want it to be peeking out through. So when you're looking through the, um, the bag, you have a little bit of paper showing through. And I got this idea from when I did my glassine um, my glassine collage, my two-sided collage, I thought it looked really cute on two sides. And when I saw that it had the book pages peeking through, I thought that would be a fun idea to do that with this one here too. More scraps for Jennifer. All right, so we got something like this now. This is what it looked like. And we're gonna put that down here, um, this way. And then if it's sticking out just a little bit, we can trim it up later. But I do like it to stick out just a little bit because that way I know it's sandwiched in there too, okay? This will all make sense when you see it put together. This becomes a really nice structured uh, piece when you put it all together, adding the pages of papers in there. So then you're just going to do this, put it down in here. And because you're not really going to see the edges on this, I didn't, I didn't ink the edges on this one. Because like I said, you just want it to be peeking through. You see how it's like sticking out the sides a little bit? I'm going to take that down a little bit here. Make sure got it all down. So now you have this and this. Okay, so now we're gonna glue this together. Oh, it's this one. The other one wasn't working. Make sure I have enough glue here to hold it together. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna do this. And then we're just gonna close it up here. So you have this now. You have this. And you have your that piece there. And the other side we're going to do, we're going to add another book page. This is going to go on the back. And again, you're not going to see it, so we don't have to ink it up. So. Let's see. Let's do this here. 
sure I'm to get those words in there. Okay, so I'm going to cut this edge off the top. Oh, didn't want to do that. Well, by the way, this uh, paper, I think it was from 19 copyright. Let's see. This was copyrighted. Oh, it doesn't say. I want to say I found it was like 19, oh, here, 1938. 1938. So I um I like to pick up these piano books because they're bigger. They have these bigger fonts and stuff on them. I think I might have to cut this down some more, you guys. Ripping paper again. Let's see. We're almost there get this part off here. It's driving me nuts. Oh boy. Messed it up. Well, I guess we'll go this way. Ooh, I don't like those words. Let me go this way. <laughs> okay. You always want to make sure what the words say, too. It's more interesting that way. All right. This is going to be our next layer that we're going to have for the second set of bags. Let's take some of this off. have our bag done now. So this is our front. This is what it looks like here. Now you want to make sure that it's um, glued down good so I might make me to let this dry a little bit but here's in between. This part here. But you want to be able to expand your bag too. Let's see what's going on here. There we go. Okay, so your bag pocket is here, and then this is glued together here, and then that's your second pocket there. Isn't that cool? So you can do as many as you want, but I'm going to do two. I'm going to finish up gluing another set together, and then I'll be right back to go to the next step, okay? So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys? All right, guys, I'm back. I have glued up all the pieces here. So we left off where we glued these together. Okay, and then this one is the one I glued off camera. So we left this one blank because we already have paper on the back side of this one and we're gonna glue these together, okay? And that's gonna give you your really nice, tight, heavy-duty pockets. Super fun. Okay, we're just gonna sandwich these on top of each other and then make sure that you have them even. Okay. 
now you have one pocket here, one pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. And I need to make sure this stays glued down here. I just finished gluing it, so it's still drying. So we'll let that dry. There we go, so there is your pockets. Now, we're gonna make the other part that I showed you earlier, we're gonna do this, okay? So I have my card stock here that I showed you. Like I said, this is a 110 pound card stock. I already made my template, so really all you have to do is open up the template like this and you're really just kind of eyeballing where you want your folds to be. I already made the fold so all I got to do is fold it up here and then line it up and then fold it here. Okay. out of the way that we already did. So we just added our little fold here. Like I said, it really is super simple. Once you make the matchbook, you can make anything, uh, any size you want. Let me just get my bone folder out. Let me crease it really good. And it's okay if we have a little tiny gap. We want a little bit of a gap here because we're going to be adding laces and trims to it. So that's okay to be that way. And then we're going to take our glued pieces that we just glued together and we're going to put them inside of here and kind of just line up. How it looks good, you know. And then I just took my stapler and stapled them. So I usually just go here, here. So I didn't even measure. Okay, so now you have your this to this way so it doesn't break. Now you have your pocket and everything fits inside nice and tight. So once we put that in there we're going to add our glue to the back of here. Okay. This one you want to put a lot of glue, even though we stapled it, I still glue it because I like it to be secure. So. And this uh, tacky glue holds pretty good too. pushing our glue in here, making sure it's good and tight on there. There. So now you have your I don't know what we're going to call this, you guys. I don't know yet what to call this, but I like it because it's like a little pocket, pocket book. I guess you're going to call it a pocket book. 
Kind of looks like a wallet too. So, yeah. So that is that. And then, so this is what it looks like when it's decorated. So let's go ahead and we're gonna decorate this baby up here. So I'll be back to show you all the supplies we're gonna use on this. And we'll go ahead and put this together. Okay, so I'll be right back. All right, let's go ahead and decorate our cover now. We left off getting ready to decorate the cover when I had a situation where I was not in frame. So I'm back to decorate the cover again with you so that you could see how I put this all together. So we're gonna start with our cheesecloth. That's gonna be our base. I'm having so much fun, you guys, <laughs> playing with this cover and decorating it. And I have a lot more to make here. So I have already made two since I made the first one and it wasn't on film. So this would be my third one I'm making now. I got my fan on, so it's probably going to be blowing here. Just pushing down the glue with this. It seems to work really good with this bone folder here. All right, and then let's see. I have a couple layers here. This beautiful piece right here. We're going to use our fabric tack for that one. I'm just going to start in the center. I just want to put some glue down and make it tear down here. Then I have this really pretty piece of soft lace here. I'm gonna put that over the top. Just gonna kinda give it another layer. And then we have this trim. This is a fabric ribbon. You just want to have it so it's covering this evenly on both sides. Like those layers there and then we're going to put this applique in the center this is a vintage wedding applique I love the pearls okay so we got that part done and then we're going to also this on the edge. Wait a second. That's not the right trim. Hmm. All right. 
this trim that I've used before and it's super pretty it's all tool it has the stitching here in the center and what I decided to do was create my own trim by cutting this part off so just really following the lines here so that's even kind of on both sides So you make enough that you need. Okay, we are not throwing this away. We are keeping that. And then you have a really pretty tool trim. And I like it because it's not perfect and you can put it on your project. gives you a different look for your trims when you have that tool look on it and you don't want the length so I wanted it to be shorter so I decided to use that as my trim sticking up just a little bit so it's peeking out the top here. I just want to be able to see that right there. And I just cut this off. Okay. So we have this done here, and then we just need to fill in where we have our staples with this trim here. So we're just gonna go ahead and put our fabric tack over the top again. This trim here is so pretty. Let me show you guys what I found. I found this really cute little girl skirt that looks like this. Isn't that adorable, you guys? And so yeah, I have all this trim to cut off and use in my projects. And it was a little girl skirt. So if you're looking for ways to get trims, interesting trims that you maybe can't find where you live, or if you're, you know, you don't have thrift stores that have these kind of things, just be looking in the kids section and you will find some really pretty trim. So I thought I would just share that with you, that tip, in case you're wondering where this trim came from. It cannot be duplicated, but you know, maybe you'll find a skirt like this or something. So now we have our two pieces covered here. So it looks something like this. And actually, this kind of hangs over the top of the tool there to the other tool, see? We're going to make something later for this to fit in. So there's that part. And then we're going to decorate the inside. As you can see, it's a different paper because I had to start the camera over. So let's go with... I inked up all my edges already on my papers because I didn't want to take the time to have to ink it since I already did this video once. So we have our paper here and this is from Home Goods. I picked this up in the Christmas section. They had it, um, they did not have it on clearance. I got this before the, um, I think it was the day before Christmas. and. The roll I got was actually not even closed up. I had to have this paper, so they gave me a little, I think it was a dollar off. So it was, I think it was $3.99 and I got it for $2.99 because it was open out of the packaging. But I was super happy that I got my hands on it because I love this champagne gold color. Okay, and then we have these pieces here that we want to layer up. 
I don't think I inked the edges on this one. Let me rip this first. Let me just check to see. Love this paper. This came from Hobby Lobby and it was thank you cards for a wedding. You get a whole bunch in a pack and you can use them. I cut them up and use them in strips. So you just get this little pretty flower here. What we're basically doing now is we're building the rectangle. So let's see, I kind of do this here. I forgot I wanted to put this underneath. I want this to just kind of be peeking out there. Another little piece of tool. also have this piece of ribbon. We're just going to cut a little strip off. Rip it out there. I like to put that um, kind of going across here just to give it to break up the lines and to give it some more texture. So just kind of Lay it down there. Then we have this here. And we have our cheesecloth. Let me see where I put the cheesecloth at. It's blowing away, you guys. There it is. I knew I had a piece of cheesecloth here. I tried to prepare all this stuff since I did it once already and I wanted to have it a quick video for you because this video is going to be quite long from the process of putting everything together. But I wanted to give you a step by step in case you would like to watch and craft with me and make one for yourself. That's my hopes that you would like to make one for yourself anyway. The glue is sticking to my fingers everywhere. And then I have this trim. We're going to use this in two places here. I'm going to put a piece up at the top. piece, just two, Oops. I'm going to put this one in the little flower. into my fingers and then I have this little piece right here 
This came off of some Prima paper. Let me show you. So I used this in a previous kit as well. And here was a bench that I die cut out. And right here was this word right here. I love this paper so much. You can do so much with this paper. I'm just so excited about using all these little elements from Prima. Especially just this little one piece of paper. It's so cool. So it says Rome on it and it has some words. Some words here. So I like to add that. So it gives you like a little collage there. So there you go. So that's the inside. And then I have one more thing to do on the back side. That's the front. This is the inside. This is the inside of the bags. And then on the back, we're going to cover the staples up. I left the lid off my glue. Good thing I didn't care that it has all that globby glue on it because I need it anyways. And then this is a ribbon that I got from Michaels, I think it was. It was had a wire on it and I cut the wire out. Now I want to cover up the glue. So kind of covering up the staples and the glue at the same time. Of the packaging let me show you what I'm working on now so you can get an idea of what we're working on next I have a few things that I'm going to be doing but in this next tutorial I will be putting together this and this is two coffee dyed envelopes actually one is let's see if I have one here probably don't have it I don't have it here but it one is a window envelope and one is a plain envelope and we're going to decorate the plain one up and it's going to look like this we're going to do some collaging on here and some lace and trim and then this is the inside this is the back and then we have a couple tags Oh my gosh, these are so pretty, these digital, um, these digital images that I purchased on Etsy. When I do this tutorial, I will put a link below to that as well because this is those coffee dyed pieces of the box that I cut up. And I'll be using this to put trims on there. And then here's the envelope with the window. I'll be including this beautiful pink image that I purchased off of Etsy as well. I absolutely love pink buildings. I'm obsessed with pink and I just loved working with this image. As you can see, I used it um, several times. I used it on the cover here and I ripped it up and put one here. This one here is this one and this is half. So that's half of this right here. There's another one here. That's the top of this one. This is another one, which is the door right here. I absolutely love these and also this brick wall. So there's lots of digitals I'll be using from some new digital uh, ladies that I found that I really, really love. So I will be putting a link to that as well. I will be back to do the craft with me on this and we're gonna put this together on camera. And then after that, if we have time, we'll put this paper clip together. If not, I'll be back to do another video on that one. So stay tuned and thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel and watching my videos. And if you're interested in more of my videos, I will be doing this series.
several videos on this packaging and how I put it all together. So stay tuned for that and I'll be back soon. Okay, bye everyone.